Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Um, I'm just gonna actually turn the TV sound off. Why have I just done that? Uh, yeah. Welcome back to another vlog. It's been a while. I know I've not filmed anything house related for a bit. My last video was the Jamaica vlog, which I hope you enjoyed. Um, sorry if you didn't like it, but we went away in December. It was a massive rush. Um, we knew it was going away, but obviously we're moving into the house and then going away straight away. And then Christmas, coming back and it was literally Christmas week. We had no presents bought. Um, I we ended up hosting Christmas dinner as well because of unforeseen circumstances with the family like my mum moved house so she didn't end up hosting um it was still really good we enjoyed Christmas so much and it is the first of January today new year uh, I'm not saying new year new me because it's not I'm just carrying on as I was I've set my goals though so we're all good but yeah apologies that there's been no home content um a lot has been going on so i'm going to update you on stuff that we've had done like change to the house or anything that we bought um my plan today is i might take the christmas tree down i will first have a tree um i'm going to take the christmas tree down i think and all the christmas decks and just clean up and get fresh and then uh we're going to go to b and q as well because i want to get the paneling for my dressing room which i'll show you i'll go through it all um so yeah i want to get that we're gonna i've measured it up so i'm hoping the guys can cut it at b and q you know when you buy it um so it might be all right but yeah i'll give you a quick show round. um it is a mess i won't lie like this is so um real life like definitely not instagram vibes at all when i'm showing you around like i've got bedding hanging up drying everywhere but yeah i'll just show you what's going on with the house and then uh, yeah i hope you like the vlog and i hope you're all well stay tuned for more okay so really quick nothing new has changed here we've got a rug a little mat to come in uh you know basically this maiden needs putting away that the lights that need to go up this is a massive electric fire which we're having i think i've said before we're having a media wall put in in the lounge and um, so that's just been sat waiting there to be put up for ages downstairs loo is as normal um love that aaron's left the seat up absolutely typical um this was my christmas garland i'm so cute i made that myself with three different types of like fake foliage from amazon it's like eucalyptus and then i did put led lights in it but i've not turned them on because they're being taken down we got a little cushion thing for the front door because there is a draft that does come through dry my bed in and here we are oh my god the cushions aren't fluffed one minute that's a bit better i'm honestly exposing myself in this um so that was our tree i'm gonna put the lights on just to show you the full effect let's do that um Oh no, that's a lot of light. So yeah, this was our cute Christmas tree. Really nice. If you've got me on Instagram on the home account, you'll have seen this anyway. Uh, these are like the Christmas decks that we had out. Our chair usually goes in that bay window, but when we put the tree up, we've just moved it to the side. Obviously, this isn't set in stone. It probably won't be like this next year. Um, full sofa. We bought some cushions from Ikea just to give it a bit more comfort. We got this for Christmas, Mr. I think it's Julius Caesar, that M&S little mini Christmas tree. We bought this table off someone for like fifteen pound uh, from our estate just because we've not we didn't have a table and we just needed somewhere to put drinks and stuff. And for the time being, we literally wanted something so cheap. It is all chips. We'll be getting rid of it, but it's been a great help while we've um, been settling in. Got our footstool. This cable is for the sky. Um, I'm not sure why Aaron's laptop's attached to that. I, just, I don't know. Um, yeah, that cable's for the sky. It needs to go underneath the carpet. So when we have our media wall done, this is the view, basically. We'll have the media wall there. And we're having like three um, coves in each side with spotlights in. But yeah, that'll all be covered. The media will all be there. This unit we've just bought from Ikea, that's going to be moved and we're going to have baskets on the bottom and like obviously make it really nice and dress it really nice. 
that's going to go in that area when that's moved to the bay window. Hope that makes sense. Into the kitchen. I'm literally out of breath. I need to calm down. Our dining table came, obviously. Um, this is where we sat for Christmas dinner. It was actually lovely. Sorry, that's some dry bedding. Um, yeah, so it's bench and then two chairs. And then it's like that cool, that style underneath. We had blinds fitted, guys. Oh my God. Um, I also put up our little drinks trolley that needs sorting out. We got so much alcohol when we moved in for Christmas, so that does need to sort out. Yeah, we have the blinds put in there, which look gorgeous. Kettle and toasters out. Got a bit of a, let me move that mask, a little vibe going on. That's our lunch because we had dominoes last night for New Year's Eve. Um, this, ignore that plin. This is a built-in washer washing machine. We're just waiting to get the door from Lanzit for it, um, you know, to have it covered so the face is done. And then this is going to be a dishwasher. Um, at the minute, it's just a rubbish cupboard with like all the tap you could think of in there. Uh, we did buy a little garden box. You can kind of see it. I don't want to mess the blinds up. But yeah, I love these blinds. They're so good. It feels so much nicer because of like privacy and stuff when we're eating food. People don't just stare at us. Um, if I go upstairs. Oh, Aaron's going to tell me off because I've got the light on. Right, this is my dressing room. I'm exposing myself again. This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. That rug's ready for when this is done. So this is a project that we're going to do um, today, hopefully, like buy the panelling for and then get started at some point in the next few days. This is where I'm working from, this gorgeous little chair. Clothes are just everywhere. And these are the paint samples. It looks super, super dark there, but that's Egyptian cotton. These are the ones that we were sampling. So hopefully, it looks so dark, but it's really light in person. It looks more like that in person. Yeah. Um, in other news as well, uh, the spare bedroom bed is up. We've still got loads of stuff being stored in here. Um, Aaron's desk is on its way, a different one. He's not keeping that grey one. Blinds again. So yeah, hopefully we'll panel that wall and then these three pictures are going to go up. That I bought Aaron for his birthday and got the friends for Christmas. It's the dates that he went to these stadiums with his friends. Got them illustrated. Here he is. The bathroom's probably full of water. Yeah, it is. Orange just had a shower. Uh, blinds in there again. And our bed is up. Woo! It's an Ottoman style with the blinds as well. Got these gorgeous little lamps from MS. And these are the drawers. They're from Furniture 123. Ignore my washing again. And um, we've had the blinds in here and the shelf put up, which is cute. And a little unit there. Obviously, everything is just really not finished. This is just makeshift at the minute. Um, making the most of what we've got. So, yeah. Hopefully, you'll see a few more updates. Okay, so I've worked out the measurements for the panelling, especially for this wall. And then I'm going to do the top sections of both them because what I'm going to do is this wall here and the corner wall. One second. This wall and that will be covered by the big wardrobes that I get. Ignore my weird tan line from holiday. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have like a dado rail, if that's how they call it, like going across. And it's just going to split it. There'll be three boxes here and three boxes at the bottom. There's going to be a box here and a slim box there for the panelling. Then at a later date when I can move all this furniture, I'm then going to do and measure up this little cove bit here because it's going to be like an L-shaped one. So it's going to be a little bit different. Um, just so that the wardrobe will probably finish about here so that you'll still be able to see that that's been panelled. But then this doesn't need to be. It's just a waste of time and money, really. We'll just paint. Um, so, yeah. 
got my measurements. I've got them all on my phone written down of what I'm doing. Got my tape measure and a pen. I'm gonna go to B and Q. Okay, I've been to B and Q. Well, wait one minute. Let me shut this door because you can hear Aaron in the back. Right, yeah. So I went to B and Q. Um, they didn't really have much paneling, um, like moulding, whatever it's called. I'm not technical. I don't know what it's called. Um, so a lovely guy came up to me and was like a handyman and said try Wix, go to Wix, so I was like right okay, went there, I got some, um, this, I don't know if you can see it, um, let me try, this is the type of moulding that we've got, oh you can't really tell, but yeah, so that's the type of moulding we've got, I had to get like 13 of these, fit like 240 centimetres, long each and i had to get 30 of them to do the walls that i want doing um so i also bought is it called a mitre block or something yeah i bought one of these so it gives you that 45 degree angle for um the boxes and like running the dado rail around the room um to box it off you need a spirit level I bought frog tape just for when i cork and to hold it up on the wall um before i glue it that was a tip my friend from Instagram, Amy, kindly uh, told me about, so I'm going to use that. Um, what else did I get? Got sandpaper, so you need a pack of a pack of sandpaper. Um, you do need wood primer and obviously whatever paint you're doing, but I'm not. I've not bought that yet. I've bought cork to cork around the actual paneling, and I've bought the no nails original um, to stick it. So. I'm going to attempt it. I've measured everything up like I said already. I have just had a go on that uh, my tablet to cut that at an angle to fit into the corner. I'm going to put this on and then I will have to add another bit across for the data wheel because it's not long enough for the width. But um, yeah, wish me luck. Um, if this goes wrong, I am in the doghouse. I spent about 100 quid on all this stuff and I was like, we're meant to just spend 50 gen and we're on a budget right now because we're having obviously all like, the media all done and like shutters and stuff in the lounge i'm in the doghouse if this goes wrong because that means we'll have to buy more materials so i need to take my time just relax really think about each thing that i'm doing and measure it well um fingers crossed it goes well and i'll update you when it's completely done but i might do a little time lapse of me measuring stuff out and doing it as well so bye <laughs> I think I've managed to do the placement of the dado rail now, so that'll go all the way around to there. I've gone inside to the windowsill as well. So, excuse all the mess, sorry, I can't be bothered emptying the full room. Um, yeah, so little things like this, where there's a little tiny gap, um, I think you can fill that. So I'm gonna try and fill it. You know when I do the cork all around this edging when I've glued it and everything. So that would then look seamless. Um, same for inside those corners. Um, but yeah, it's looking good. I mean, that is really hard work, I won't lie. Like I'm over it already. I feel like it's gonna be something that's gonna take a few good few days, which I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> um, I've had to do like a little extra, which I will fill again. Um, I think you can see it there, that little gap, uh, just because it wasn't long enough, the original uh, panel that went across, it's quite a long wall, so yeah, I'm happy with it so far, I've done 100, and, 100 centimetres from the skirting board up to there for reference, if anyone wanted to know, uh, the top's slightly bigger than the bottom, so when I come to do the squares, the the bigger squares will be at the top and then the small ones will be at the bottom so i'm just gonna i've been measuring as i go as well because i think the how this is like a centimeter i'd say um or maybe two centimeters so that will have changed measurements slightly so now i've put the dado rail up i'm gonna then measure 
properly again with my centimetre gap, 10 centimetre gap either side margin. So I'll have 10 centimetres from the bottom, 10 centimetres from the top, and then that's where I'll put my squares. Hi guys, okay, so it's the next day. Um, please ignore the state of me. I've literally got up and started doing this um, to car carry on from yesterday. So I'll just show you what we're up to because the up, the, on the wall, um, I'm gonna tell you what my new plan is because I've sacked off um, doing the window wall, but I'll show you now. So the up, they all just need um, corking. So that's where the wood filler will go and all around the edges and ceiling. But they're up with the no nails, they're just drying. I'm obsessed, it looks so good. I'm so proud of myself. Never let anyone tell you that you can't do something when you've got your mind set on it because you will do it. Trust me. Um, yeah, so I was going to have panelling on these walls. Um, I did have it up with the tape. That's all the bits that I've taken down. But it made the room look really small, and Aaron said that he prefers it um like that so it's always good having a second opinion when you're doing it um so i'm just going to keep this walls like a feature wall i will paint the full room the same color though and i've ended that there because of the wardrobes as i was saying they'll come up pretty much to the wall so you won't really see that hi so it's the next morning now well it's afternoon 12 o'clock and we need to tidy up look at the state I'm going to take the decorations down today because we didn't do it the other day while I was panelling. Uh, that took a long time. I've still not finished it. I need to do other bits like cork, um, prime the wood and then paint. But I'm still, like I said before, I'm not sure on the paint. So um, I need to figure that out and I'll do it a different day, like next weekend. So yeah, we're going to take the tree down and all the Christmas decks. I'll do a time lapse. Bye. <laughs> So this is what it looks like now. Um, we've cleaned everything up, put everything away, all the Christmas decks are in a little Christmas tree box outside in, well, I say outside. They are outside, but they're in a garden box, then wrapped up. So this should be okay. Don't mind my washing that we've just done in between. So yeah, this is the living room now. Got a little candle on. Okay, so it's been a few days since we started the panelling. Uh, well, I say we, me and I. Um, it's all up on the wall. It's no nailed on. I've corked it all. So it's all nice and seamless around here. Um, yeah, I'm just cleaning and then I'm going to put all the frog tape on around the skirting boards and around all the room, like the window and everything. Because um, I'm going to start priming like next week, I think bit of a long process over like three weekends but well um i frog tape i'll probably nip to be in cube get the primer and i'm still unsure on this paint because again it looks gray and i just don't want that like which one is best that looks really pink in person that looks really pink in person but it's great on there it's so weird um so yeah i'm just gonna get that done and then I'll update you when I'm priming the actual wood panels on the panel. So I'm just priming all the wood now. Um, I'm using the Dulux Primer Undercoat in white and then a Dulux brush. I got a set where there was like an angled one and then two different sizes. Um, I only bought this one because it's a small pot and I only need a little bit for the actual wood. Sorry if you can hear Aaron laughing in the background. Um, I also got a Valsper mixed colour of Oxford stone from Farron Ball because they didn't have the actual Farron Ball tester and I'm glad I didn't buy the real tester because it's so dark. <laughs> oh, it looks so light in, in the pot. I'll show you in a minute, but the colours just aren't right in this room. I don't know what's going on, but I'm really struggling to find a paint for this room. Um, if anyone's got any ideas, please let me know. <laughs> 
Um, I mean, this video, I'm not putting it up until I finish my panelling anyway, so hopefully I will have painted and got a colour, but I've put it, it looks so brown now and it's that other one, I just can't get it right. Oh, I'm stressed about it, but yeah, I'm going to get this painted up, all the primer and then just sleep on it another day and try again. So this is the first um, layer of priming coat on the panelling. Okay, so I'm just at the point of painting now. I swear this is like um, four days later or something since last video. I can't remember, but I've got the summer linen paint. Um, but it was like £28, I think, for that full big tub. I had to buy the rollers and the little um, tray. So yeah, I've just been painting a few bits. You can see the difference there, like the colour difference. That's the colour that I'm doing on the walls. I think it looks so nice compared to the white. Um, obviously, it's a bit um, patchy because there was some swatches underneath, like larger swatches of paint that I was trying to sort out. So um, yeah, hopefully. I don't know why that's... Oh, it's more like that's why yeah so it's just gonna dry um it it does look really nice the color though so i'm just gonna carry on and um hopefully I'm, i'll probably do like a big reveal on that my instagram or something for the full room when it's painted and sorted um i don't want to share too much of the well i'll show the process obviously but i want to show you it when it's fully done so you get the full picture and like it's all exciting so yeah that's the paint on it's official, uh, my Friday nights have gone to a new high. Look at the state of me, <laughs> oh my God. Um, okay. She's painted, um, so that side I've done. I'll swap the camera around in a second, do it. Okay, so I think I already showed that wall so far. I had to do the top part before, so it looks patchy because it's still drying. Um, but then I've gone all around the window. Oh yeah, you can see the colour difference there of the paint. So yeah, I've gone around the window and all around there, around the radiator. I'm just cutting in on the skirting boards and the ceiling in a minute. I need to do all this side and cut in. I'm cutting around the door, but then Aaron's gone, like, he's gone picking the Chinese up now. So I'm definitely leaving this, going to in the plates out and like my hands because they're just covered in paint. But yeah, that's that for tonight, guys. Mm -hmm.